you. Huh? Yeah, you. I want to tell you something. Get over here. What is it? Are you tired of mid-game? Are you fed up with feeling like you are not progressing no matter how hard you try or how many tutorials you watch? Oh, hell no. If the answer is yes, then look no further. I will be showing you the most effective mixed hive that will allow you to cruise your way into endgame in no time. Now what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into it. What is going on guys? My name is Cat. What the heck is this? What is going on guys? My name is Catmix and today we are back at it again on the YouTube grind with another Bee Swarm Simulator video. And this time I will be discussing mixed hives. And why my old tutorial is kind of bad and why you may not be progressing in the game as quickly as you probably should. This hive I'm going to show you is going to have four major benefits to having your hive like this. What might be this hive, Catmix? Like, tell us, tell us the hive. Okay, I'm going to tell you the hive. All it is, very simple. This is the first reason why it's superior is because the composition is basically every gifted bee you can get. You're gonna want all of your rare bees gifted, epic bees, legendary bees, they might be a little bit more tricky, but uh, towards the end of the game, you'll probably get more of these. Mythics, sure. If you're really, really, really lucky, lucky, pretty much every gifted bee type that you get, you're going to keep in your hive. Gifted bees. So like I said, the first benefit of this is it's very simple and very easy for newer players to build this hive because it's very progressional. So as you grow more powerful in the game, you'll be getting more and more gifted bees. So it is actually very easy to build this hive. Now the second reason why this hive is very, very overpowered is because of quests and that's mainly what you are going to be doing in mid game is lots and lots of quests and quests are very very helpful to be getting rewards and progressing in the game polar bear quests they give you polar power which gives your bees more energy black bear quests you can get a mythic egg out of it which mythic bees are very very good in the game and yeah it just just makes quests a lot easier because you have every single gifted pretty much ability in your hive it'll be really really easy to collect red pollen very very easy to collect blue pollen for white pollen it's it's basically just like all of your bomb bees will be collecting very very easy for collection quests and also attack quests are pretty decent as well if you want to throw another rage bee in the mix you can or if you have a spicy bee that works too but pretty much just every gifted bee just makes your hive very versatile for a lot of things in the game the third reason why this hive is very overpowered is because if you have star eggs, it'll be easy to potentially hatch a gifted mythical bee. So if you have all of your rare bees, epic bees, legendary bees, if you have most of them, you might have a chance to get a mythic, but I would gift all of these before you hatch your star egg. But then you'll have pretty much a guaranteed chance to get a mythic. It's very beneficial to get gifted mythics earlier in the game than you, um, than you should. This is big brain time. Another one. The fourth and final reason why this hive is superior is because you will be able to get the Supreme Star Amulet a lot faster. If you guys don't know, like, what the benefits of the Supreme Star Amulet is, it's basically just, you will make a lot of honey, you will make so much honey that you won't even know what to do with that honey. All the other players will be like, whoa, they are so cool, I wish I could be like that, please let them here. So this is why you want um, a lot of gifted bees in your hive, because the Supreme Star Amulet is very overpowered. I'm going to be discussing why my last meta was... 
wasn't horrible. Don't get me wrong. If you have this hive, you can easily fix it. The reason why it's not that great, your bag doesn't fill. And I know I'm kind of contradicting what I said because I said that bag fills were really, really bad. So with my alt account, I experimented with the hive that I showed in my first video. It was very difficult to fill my bag and it was also very difficult to collect a lot of pollen for quests. So that's why I kind of switched to this meta that I'm showing you right now, basically every single gifted bee. And once I did that, I was kind of surprised how helpful bomb bees actually are. Don't knock it till you try it. Bomb bees are helpful for filling your bag and completing lots and lots of quests. They, they just make it a lot faster. But for boosting, bomb bees mid game, not very good, but as a mid game player, you should not be boosting anyway. It's a waste of materials in my opinion, and you will need those for crafting things like end game items. Now you are probably wondering, but can't mix, what should I do with the extra slots in my hive? What I would do is fill the extra slots with bees related to the quest that you are doing. For example, if you are completing panda bear quests, include a few extra music bees along with some attack bees. If you are doing quests that require you to collect a certain token from your bees, add in some bees that drop that token. And if you keep doing that, you will discover that doing quests is not as crazy as you once thought. Except maybe BBM. This will conclude today's video. Equipped with this knowledge, you should be well on your way to becoming an endgame player in no time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.